Welcome to this look at a new-ish mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr Sealy P. This is Blue Mountain Valley. This is a new-ish mod map out. Um, I'm a little bit late to the party as I was away on holiday last week, but I've been going through the mods looking at what got released. Um, obviously Law Folds was released as well. This one caught my eye as did a few of the actual individual mods. Now, I've entitled this crazy Blue Mountain Valley and you'll understand why in a minute. The map itself, and this is no disrespect to the map maker, it does say in the mod hub, this is a simple place to begin a great career in farming, animal husbandry or forestry. And the map itself is fairly simple, but it's what comes with it that makes it a bit more interesting. And I don't know whether people have overlooked it or kind of looked and thought, oh, okay, fair enough, and sort of moved on. A couple of people have said to me, are you still going to do a map tour? So I thought, you know what, I'll come on and I'll do the map tour. So here I am. Where do we start? Well, I do my map tours on New Farmer. Most people will probably know that by now. If you're new to my channel, I do my map tours on New Farmer. On New Farmer, we start with all of this. Field 4, 5, 10, 9, the land all around here. And you start with all the animal pastures on this section of land. Land is fairly expensive. If we look on there, I suppose it's 84 grand. 98 then they kind of go up 23 is 310 grand but then we've got loads of open areas when i say open there are grassland but there's lots of trees on a lot of this as well that you can cut down you can plow out you can do all that kind of stuff the forested area is huge that's a bit more expensive to buy the forested areas but there's tons of forestry if you want to do forestry uh, most of the cell points are down this section here although the grain mill is there we have a livestock market animal dealer and we've got the biogas plant. The biogas plant is 234,000 to buy but you get all of that land around the back of it as well. So there's plenty of scope for growth. There's There aren't any hedges, there aren't any fences, it's all open plan. There's plenty of room to extend fields and really kind of have a, have a play around with what you want to do, especially if you're learning, if you're new to the game, you're not too restricted, which is pretty handy. As far as slot counts go on console, on New Farmer this uses 593 out of 1299, which is fairly high, but there's a reason why it's fairly high. You start with a load of stuff. I mean an absolute load of stuff. But I have found a slight catch, a, 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 I say a minor one. Uh, what we will do is come out of there, go into there, go to garage. So we start with the New Holland T5 120, a Puma 240 CVX, uh, John Deere 6155, a Rossell Mash uh, RSM 161, HKD 302 trailer, header for the Rossell Mash, well a couple of headers actually, cool one. We've got the Colty Plow Platinum 8 meter which is a fantastic thing to be starting off with. Uh, Vaderstadt Rapid A600S, we've got, uh, so we've got seed and planter, we've got a uh, front seed tank, we've got fertiliser herbicide sprayer, we've got fertiliser spreader, we've got a muck spreader, slurry spreader, you start with front loader equipment, there are egg pallets which are modded onto here, so you don't need the egg pallet mod. Um, we also have a couple of uh, modded pastures, which we'll have a look at the mods available. So we start with all these different pastures. Grain silos, hay loft, silo extensions, all of this we start with. So, um, there's also a lime station which costs one pound, euro or dollar, and we start with the farmhouse. So there's an absolute ton of stuff. Which means if you come onto here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, you don't have any of that. You don't have the hayloft, you don't have the lime station just over there, there's a workshop trigger there. We don't have any of that, you don't have any, any of the animal pastures and it drops the slot count down to 336, which is fantastic. But there is a caution that comes with that. And it's something I found, I haven't tried saving the game, coming back out and coming back in again, but this plot of land that you start with on New Farmer, you don't start with obviously on Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, and that's got all the animals on. So when you come on on Start From Scratch or Farm Manager, and you buy that plot of land, which actually costs 741 grand, the animal pastures don't come back up again. It's not like buying the land, they pop onto the thing. The pastures themselves are still there, but you don't have access to them. I'm not quite sure why or whether that's just a problem on my console or I'm not too sure but that's just a word of warning 
if you are going to come on farm manager start from scratch potentially if you don't own this land when you buy it i didn't get any of these icons come back up and when i went over to each of the pastures none of the triggers were showing up so again just a word of warning i thought it was worth pointing out we are going to have a look at modded stuff and crops and things in a minute but what we'll do is have a quick look around the yard um that is north we do have a hayloft which a lot of maps don't often start with we do have um a liquid fertiliser and herbicide purchase point just here. I think these are both included um, on the things that we own. Silo just behind us here. I say loads of equipment. I didn't actually find them. Where was the John Deere? I did have a look about. Maybe it's in one of the other barns. I found the Puma. Oh, unless it's up there. <laughs> There's stuff all over the place. Uh, what will we grab? Let's grab the Puma. Well, whiz around the map, and then I want to show you some the, the crazy cool stuff. Now, it added crops on this. We do have white grapes and red grapes. So, I always get it wrong, Ischgia. Ischgia Farms is not the only map now to have grapes. This map does have grapes as well. But it does say the required mods, so we do have a required mods list, are the Browd 9000L Grape Harvester. The DRL140N uh, grape trailer and the grape planter. Now, each of those are by Black Eyes Modding. It does say they are required mods, but they don't download automatically, so you will have to download those yourself. So, what we'll do is have a look up here at the pig farm. Oh, there you go, I can see the John Deere stuff around the back. The pig uh, enclosure holds 300 pigs. It's, I think it's a fairly standard one, but then, like I say, they don't disappear, they're still here. But none of these trigger points have come up. So, I, if you find on yours it works, no problem at all. Great. I'm, like I say, it's just really honestly just a warning. Feed triggers, water triggers in regular places, uh, and I think on the corner at the other end is where you put your bedding in. So it's a fairly standard pen, slurry and manure point there. The John Deere and the slurry and manure spreaders. Are tucked up around the back and like i say there is loads and loads of open space between all the fields the fields are fairly regularly shaped i know not everyone likes that but again because of the scope and the amount of room you've got if you want to change those change them plow them out make them any shape you want you join them together do whatever i think it's a it's a really nice feature of this map so whilst not it's not cluttered with loads of stuff there's not things all over the place uh, I, no, and again, no disrespect to the map maker. I wouldn't say it's the most picturesque of maps. It's not like you come and go. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, but I've always said that there's a difference between beautiful, picturesque maps, which often can be fairly difficult to play on, or maps that are functional. They still look great, but have got more functionality and ability to do things on. And I think that's important too. Uh, so we're at the top here now at the sheep purchase point here the sheep will hold 250 triggers and things in the same place in the same place in a fairly regular place uh, spawn point for wool pallets feed and water troughs around the side just there there's no shortage of barn and building space which is really nice as well this is seasons ready head down the hill. Nice view out across the landscape. Oh, trying to roll this over, that'd be great. It's terrible when you have an itch on your nose and you're driving. So we head back down through the farmyard. And what's also good about the yard isn't too tight, there's plenty of room for big machinery, so if you want to play with any size machinery, you can on this one. There's loads of room. All the stuff is all in and when I say all in one place, technically, yes, it's all in one place. But it's not like right on top of each other. And you've got a nice sweep up the hillside. The, the topography of the land, it's not really flat. So you've got the, the bonus of the ability to do a load of stuff with it not being too restrictive. But it's not so flat and open and, you know, do what you like that it's plain and boring, you know. Just check, check the silo. Now these are modded silos and you do start with stuff in as you can see but the difference with these ones because we've got grapes on here they just have the ability to store white and red grapes as well if you want to store white and red grapes. 
There are two of these at 200,000 litres each. Cows are just up here. Now this is one of the modded ones. Your buy, sell, load and unload point is just here. Uh, the cows will hold 500. And our manure and slurry points are just round here. We've got our milk point is just here. Now feed triggers and water around the side and putting in bedding is just this section here. But it's a nice big pasture, plenty of room. Then another sweep down. We've got our house, there's a barn. So our sleep through the night trigger is here. There you go. Let's grab the tractor. Then we'll head down to the chickens. Two big bunk silos. Oh, actually, horses as well. I'll simply get the horses. Horses here. Horses will hold 16. And the chickens will hold 400. Like I said, you do start with modded egg pallets. Now, as far as... I mean, they will fill up automatically. You'll need a load or whatever you want to pick them up. Will these work in conjunction with all the various different auto load egg container things now and the IT runner ones? And there are quite a few of those available. Obviously, I haven't checked all of them. It's just not possible to do that. But you do start with egg pallets, and I don't see any reason why they wouldn't work with some of the auto load things that are available. Um, but, yeah. Right, so what we're going to do now is head out of the yard. Now, I'm probably going to just cut across the grass. It'd be easier to cut across the grass. There is a little track just up there. We'll cut across the grass. We'll head down the hill. Which I could have gone up the top, I'm just thinking. Let's have a quick look at the map. Mm. Now we'll cut around, I think. I had an idea in my head of the route round, I was going to go and I've changed my mind, but nothing unusual there, is there? I do that quite frequently. So, like I said, we'll do the map tour, then I'll show you the stuff that I think is crazy. And it's not, it's not crazy, but it's that situation where we often get told on console, everyone does the whole, oh, I want larger capacities, the ability to change them at XML files and you know, it doesn't have to be crazy capacities, but, you know, wouldn't it be nice to have a better size this or a better size that or you know, an on PC that's doable? What often happens is when stuff gets submitted to Giants, where people have done that, I think they often get rejected or people just don't submit. I, I'm not, I honestly don't know for definite, but what's happened on here is something's been made a lot easier and I think it's fantastic livestock market trigger is just here so you can come and collect yourself to buy sell load or unload obviously you can do it directly and be charged a fee if you do it directly from your actual um, animal pens but you can do it here at the livestock market cruise control on head up the hill to the biogas plant then we'll head back down to the rest of the cell points around to the sawmill and as you can see as we go around, it's nice, nice undulations. We've got nice undulations across the map, but an absolute ton of room. So much room. Two big bunker silos here at the biogas plant. Like I say, 234 grand to buy this to be able to use it. But you do get the land behind it. There are lots of trees to cut down. So if you want to do the forestry to clear the land, you can, or you can use the various different, um, there are, mine's gone blank, the, tr the Trex, the T-Rex that will basically just remove trees, the tree removal system. Cell point into the digesters is just there and our digestate tank for your byproduct is just here. But also if you're gonna do any kind of grass work, there's grass, there's plenty of grass all over the place. 
Now obviously if you do grass on a, a field you've ploughed or a field that's already established you do have the ability then to fertilise and get a higher yield. I've often found the side grass around the edges yields fairly highly in its own right but you always get a slightly higher yield if you've fully fertilised and you've done everything to a, to a field that you put grass on. The difference between field grass and edge grass as I kind of refer to it if not out loud in my head so as we head down we come to a rather large cell point down the bottom here so on the map we have gone from the farm across round to the animal dealer up to the biogas plant come down the hill we're now at Smith Mill if we scroll across one on here we can see that the grain mill Johnson supply and Smith Mill are the main sell points we do have a barn dairy sawmill and spinnery the grapes can be bought or can be sold at Johnson supply and Smith Mill of the two biogas plant when you own it pays out it's not like it's you know some maps you get a high price I think it's still 360 standard for silage I think I had to look at this all last night before I went to bed so I kind of did my whiz round made my notes dairy cell point is just here pretty much right next door Spinnery cell point is just there. So on these lower line areas, it is fairly flat. So you do have these kind of two different bits. As we come down to the river section, it kind of levels right out. And I think for placeables and stuff like that, once you've cleared a few trees and things like that, it would, yeah. I mean, I haven't tried placing anything, but the fact it's so flat, I can't see any reason why it wouldn't. I know on some maps you still get that message coming up, you know, unable to place objects and ground cannot be deformed here and that kind of thing. This is the barn cell point. Just here. Now I'm going to check that because... There we go. So the barn cell point will take all the regular. But there, is that. It's not for lumber, is it? I'm just thinking, because this is like the one from Ravenport, isn't it? My mind's gone blank. What went on this cell point? I know the barn cell point was this bit here. Or was it just at both? Anyway. Be a bit of fiddling around to be done there. Oh, mind you, Ravenport seems like such a long time ago now. Crazy, isn't it? Up to the store. Actually, we'll cut across the grass. I'm sure they won't mind. It's not a fence around it. Big open area. Again, when you're buying equipment, you're not going to have a problem getting large equipment off of the forecourt. Sometimes you have small gates and things like that. Our repair point customized point sell point is just here the reset point as well if anything goes particularly wrong or you want to reset something the reset point is here on this hard standing area right here so what we're going to do now from here we've done the smith mill dairy spinnery barn we're at the shop we're going to head down to johnson supply we'll cut across and whiz across the sawmill the forest the forest area is huge so if you like doing forestry, there, um, there is no shortage, nothing to worry about. Then we'll do grain mill, we'll head across to the other silos just here, and your vineyards are here. But because one of the required mods is the great planter, you can put vineyards wherever you want. You can have, you know, the vineyards can cover off the map if that's what you want to do. I like it, I mean, it's another reason why this one kind of stood out to me. I like the fact there's another map now with the ability to do it on. I'm just racking my brains out I think I'm sure it's still Whiskey Farm that's the only one that you can, isn't it? Unless there's been another one. If that's been another one, I apologise, but I'm sure it was just still Whiskey, wasn't it?
in the more fertile lands down along by the side of the river where the soil's more peaty and black and rich and full of nutrients I suppose the much of grapes generally grow up on hillsides and mountains all over the place don't they so as long as they've got sun and plenty of irrigation they'll be pretty good this is the Johnson store I've got that right haven't I Johnson supply sorry now we're head across the grass across the bridge around to the sawmill A real mix of different sized trees as well, it's not all kind of one set height or size. I do like that kind of idea of going out and, you know, obviously on, on PC you've got the tree marker and you can go and actually spray, you know, mark the trees and you can go out and log. But if you lock all the larger ones, leave the smaller ones, you can replant them, that kind of thing. I like that as an idea. Sometimes you get forests and they're all kind of very standard, regimented, but it's a nice idea. Lumber cell point, just over this side. Woodchip cell point just there, right next to the river. And we'll head back across. I still love the fact that on FS19, all this time in, um, you know, bearing in mind over the last few iterations of the game, I know the uh, the Alpine expansion is due out November, but we would be coming up on the new release of a new game, usually, every it's normally a two-year cycle, we'd be coming up with a new release. That still this far in, I love the fact there's something for everyone. Like I said earlier, that idea that you can have these really really picturesque you know almost perfect in every detail down to an exact replica of an area and you drive on it and it feels like you're there you know that that level of detail is phenomenal i love the fact we've got the maps somewhere in between they've got that level of picturesque kind of beauty but functionality and playability not that you can't play on the other ones but you know what i mean this is the grain mill just here and then you've got your maps that really do allow for kind of just playing having a play around trying different things you've got plenty of room and open area and flat bits and but you've also got some nice landscape and features it's not billiard flat when flat map came out that was a cracking idea fantastic idea for a map but you need something for everyone in that for some people that's exactly what they wanted their ability to design and create their own map on console pretty much from scratch completely flat barely anything on it off you go for some people that's a daunting process that's a daunting idea it, you know people want a map that they can play on straight away they don't want to have to think about it they haven't necessarily got the time to come on and create their own map they just want to come on and play the game so there's that range of maps for everyone now, I like the fact that map, map makers and modders are still creating them. So we're down here at the vineyards. These three sections here, these three fields, 31, 32 and 33, are the white grapes. And then our red grapes. It's field 30 at the end. Just here. Our second silo. 200,000 litre is just here next to it and that in essence is the map but I want to show you the last bit and I might yeah this was the grain mill I thought I'd better check because I said oh that's the grain mill and then whiz past so what I'm going to do is head back up the hill up towards the farm I'm going to set something up so I'm going to leave you for a minute when I come back, I want to show you something. And so, sometime later, this is what drew my attention. This is why I wanted to do it. A sugar beet harvester, you say? Well, yes, 
and no. This is what I was talking about. I think TNT modding has got this under the radar, so potentially keep it under your hat. Under mods, but only on this map. This is not a released mod, this has been put onto this map specifically. If we go to um, Beat Technology, and we go across, nothing unusual under Beat Technology, which is absolutely fine. If we go to Potato Technology, however, we have got a modded Terradoss T440, which does potato and sugar beet. So that's not just a sugar beet harvester on this map. So that's been converted, as it were. That's only 16 slots. Look at the capacity. 150,000 litres. The Terrados T440 usually does 45,000, I believe. So 150,000 litres that will hold. It will do sugar beet or potato. But also next to it, we've got the Veritron 470 Platinum. That's now got a tank capacity of 50,000 litres. Realistic? No. But a lot of people have been saying for a long time, we need new potato technology, we need some new harvesters, we need some new planters, we need bigger stuff, larger capacities, that kind of thing. So whilst on PC I know people will tweak the XML files, and generally speaking on console we don't get this stuff. So it's a little bit crazy, it's a little bit mad, but kind of brilliant at the same time. So what you've also got under tools, if we go to beet technology and scroll across, nothing unusual. Now for sugar beet, if you want to use that harvester with 150,000 litre capacity, you've got the HR12 header there, which is a 5.4 metre header. If we go down to potato technology and scroll across, there's a potato header, 5.4 metres for the Terradoss T440 for doing potatoes. So that's what I've got hooked up. Now under the harvester itself you can change the color configuration so you can change the rim color you can change the color configuration and the grill sections up there you can change those colors as well this will hold 150,000 liters this will do potatoes with a 5.4 meter header that is is bonkers but brilliant you know i know for your realists and your purists they won't be very happy and that's fine but i love the fact if you want you know, a little bit of kind of PC style. No, not everyone on PC does this, don't get me wrong. You know, a lot of people on PC play ultra realistically. But if you do want a little bit of that bonkers world of PC, 150,000 litre capacity, that is absolutely crazy. Which means this can keep going. And the fact it does potatoes, that slog of doing potatoes for hours and hours and hours and hours with a really narrow header, this will make fairly light work of it. Imagine having two or three of these running. And it wouldn't need to stop as often, you wouldn't have to unload as often. You're only going to really be limited to the size of your trailer. Now, first of all, I thought it was a typo, I wasn't sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and uh, we'll see. I mean, look at already, there's 7,000 litres in there, and it's barely even filling up. Like I say, this will normally hold 45,000, so I still, you know, for so long, my head is still going, hang on a minute, we're doing potatoes. And why not, at the end of the day? That, you know... It's cool, it just it shows it can be done. It shows it, you know, there can be some tweaks and improvements and changes. And again, I totally get it. In the real world, no, it wouldn't hold 150,000 litres, there's no way. Let's see what I will do, I think. So I'll see you in a minute. We've got a whole load more in this. And so, a little while later, we're not quite halfway across the field, but we are up to 63,000, 64,000 litres in the tank of this harvester. I'll be honest, I don't know if, if TNT modding can bring it to, to uh, as a separate mod, 
whether it would get past Giants or not, I don't know. It has got past Giants to be in the, on the map. I don't think there's anything wrong with a little bit of bonkers for console for every now and again. It doesn't hurt, does it? It's a bit of fun. But anyway, um, that's it. That's the map. That's Blue Mountain Valley by TNT Modding. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.